Hey guys, it's Pam here from Travel with Pam. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Oh, it's not turning on. Unfortunately, this is what happened to my phone during lockdown. All my pictures are on here. Nothing. The screen's dead. The screen is completely cracked. It's got the screen protector, but it's still cracked through that. I didn't have the case on because I was using it on the tripod. Hey guys, it's Pam here from Pam Pam TV. And this is what happened to me in the first week of lockdown. I was devastated because there were like 20,000 of my pictures on the phone. Screen wouldn't come on and yeah, so I lost a whole lot of stuff. But let me show you what I tried to do in order to retrieve some of the data. Accidents happen and I wish I could go back to this, but unfortunately I couldn't. And unfortunately you can't really do that except when editing. I'm sure this has happened to either you or somebody that you know and you know how heartbreaking it can be. But the lessons that I've learned, lesson number one is back up every day. Lesson number two, back up. And lesson number three is back up every day. There are a number of cloud-based services. So I'm going to start using one of the cloud services to back up my pictures and videos in future. When this happened, I immediately got onto Google and tried to search for ways to retrieve data while the screen is cracked. And I thought because of the many phones that fall, I thought there would be a way to retrieve this data. I tried several things, which I will share with you. I watched several YouTube videos on how to retrieve information from a phone with a cracked screen. The first thing I tried was trying to download software which would extract information directly from your phone onto the computer where you install software. I tried several of those, but a lot of them just came with adverts and none of them really helped me extract the information I wanted from my phone. So I installed and uninstalled a lot of software and none of them really worked. So I would not advise that unless you know of one that really works. None of them worked for me. The next thing you could try is to get an HDMI MHL adapter, which directly connects your phone to a screen like a TV screen, which basically mirrors the image that's on your phone. Because it was locked down, I could not really get one of those adapters. But when I did get the adapter, I realized that you need some functionality or ability to see what's going on on the screen on your phone in order to be able to project that image onto the TV, for instance. The HDMI adapter only really works if you can see what is going on on your phone or on the screen of your phone. So if you have some functionality of your screen, you may be able to use an HDMI adapter to mirror the image on your phone and navigate using the mirror image on the TV in order to get some of your information off your phone. The third thing I tried was to use wireless projection. Most phones have wireless projection, but the snag is you have to be able to navigate to the wireless projection feature in order to project your screen. If you can remember the sequence of how to get to it, and this is how you would get to it normally, but I was unable to navigate to this wireless projection feature in order to project it 
onto a second screen to be able to get to the function to retrieve my photos. I tried several times to navigate to the wireless projection feature, but alas, I couldn't get to it. Now what? I had tried the third thing and it still didn't allow me to retrieve my photos. So I had to go back and think and look up information as to how I would get to it. This is proving to be quite challenging. If your screen doesn't work, what can you do or what can be done in order to retrieve information from your phone if your screen is cracked and non-functional? I was fortunate that my screen was still functional even though I couldn't see anything as I could activate the torch. When I unlocked the phone, I could navigate to the screen that allowed me to switch on the torch. So I'm plugging in the USB cable to see if I can get anything and the high suite has come up just to check if I can retrieve any of the pictures. I'm going to unlock the phone without being able to see anything on the screen. I know the torch is somewhere around here, which is my navigation. I'm still trying to connect the phone. So if I could pick up where it said transfer photos, transfer file, USB connector, I would be able to pick it up. is disconnected. After several times of trying to connect the phone directly to the computer in the normal way to download the pictures, I eventually managed to press the transfer photo key but there was an eight digit code that was required and I couldn't really see the eight digit code because the phone wasn't working so I had to try and get to the photos another way. Since I had upgraded the software I tried to downgrade the software to check whether I could access the photos on the phone. There were four methods that I used in order to retrieve data from my phone with a cracked screen. I tried to download software that would extract the data directly onto my computer. I then tried the HDMI adapter. I also tried to wirelessly project from my phone onto a TV screen. All three of those methods proved to not be successful as I could not navigate directly to the feature on my phone as I could not see anything. The last method was to connect directly as I would normally and try to navigate to the feature. That seemed to be the simplest method, but it was also quite tough. And luckily I was able to figure out on a blank screen where the button to transfer the photos was on the screen. So I hope this video has helped you or given you some ideas on how to use different methods in order to retrieve data from your phone with a cracked screen. Thanks for watching.